Environmental Protection Agency, those librarians that are monitoring this honorary ceremony, ladies and gentlemen, we are from the Smart Media Group Incorporated. Smart Media Group was founded in 2015 with the sole purpose of evaluating and broadcasting, publishing institutions that are meant for business in terms of contributions to society. We are a professional media network. With our network, we are monitor both national and international. We have come to appreciate the Environmental Protection Agency through a Executive Director, Mr. Natalia Brahma. The reason of this, this was done through a vetting committee. And the vetting committee made it clear to us that is the MFG. It make it clear to us that the executive director, Mr. Blama, are transmenuously engaged into uh, uh, transformation at the EP in terms of awareness to the protections of the environment through meaningful interactions on the dangers of climate change, the awareness of the significance of preserving the natural, natural surroundings of various animals, the protections of wetlands, coupled with the significance of waste management. Importantly, the EPA are already engaged into planting of trees along the coastal regions of Liberia in the coastal defense. We are also gathered information that the EPA have projected a study at the master program, the University of Liberia. We also, our vetting committee presented uh, to us that through Director Nathaniel Blama, the EPA have also disallowed serious awareness on the constructions in waterway by some Liberians. And also the cutting down of mango trees for the purpose of protection of the environment from the dangers of climate change. Also, 
significantly, the EPA is also engaged into human resource capacity building in terms of scholarship for some of its staffers, sterling both local and international. Against this, we have come to appreciate the entire entity. In appreciation, we have decided to directly appreciate and honor Mr. Nathaniel Blaman for his contributions just within a period of year during this new region. So with this, we will now call on the CEO of the publisher of the Smart Media Group. And if you want to get us, you can get us online, www.smartnewsliberia.com. We are actively an online program and will also engage in the publishing of hard copies. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome Mr. Socrates Sale, who will do the presentations of the certificate of appreciation to Mr. Brown. Thank you very much. Okay. General of the press, <coughs> once more, I'm Socrates Sale. I'm the executive director of a smart media group. I want my colleague Jerry Ryan. This is how we go about vetting individual and institution to appreciate them for the work so far. So now the question of the turn, I will take out the certificate and read what is being written on this certificate. The certificate reads, Smart Media Group Incorporated, publisher of Smart News Liberia, the body of the town Smart Group, second floor, City Plaza building, KV Street, Moreover Liberia, the telephone number indicator, email indicator, certificate for appreciation presented to Honorable Nantana Blama in recognition of your dedicated services to the nation and its people through the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA. The Vedic Committee and staff of Smart Media Group have selected you as the Executive Director of the year 2018 and therefore awarding you this certificate of appreciation on this 15th day of January 18, 2019. So, on behalf of the Smart Media Group, Administration uh, insinuated, I said earlier, this is the third in the sequence uh, um, under a week of institutions that have come to give recognition to the work we do and honor us for the work we do. This honor is not for me, it's for the staff of the EPA because there can be no leader if you have no followers. And we'll be, um, there was a Chinese proverb that says, if someone said he's leading and you look beyond, you don't have people following you, then you are just taking away. You're not leading. So to be a leader, you must have followers. So we have people, uh, like I said, I inherited a very strong technical team at the EPA that have been working over the years 
and coupled with other people have joined the team and have even made it strong. So we'd like to start by saying we thank um, in the wisdom of the president for appointing us here to serve the country at this level. Uh, I was humbled by the appointment and all we try to do is to serve with our humanity that brought us here. And as we got here, we inherited a very strong technical team that has been pushed. I mean, we've been trying to work with to push the agenda of the EPA and the national agenda, the Propo agenda. The EPA, as some of you know now or are getting to know, is a national level regulatory and enforcement agency. Uh, in the past, people thought it was just no. When they say dirt somewhere, they say EPA. No, we're not there to clean that. And we regulate every sector and we enforce the law based on compliance. We ensure compliance and enforcement. And by that, we have a national responsibility to the country. The EPA was born out of the Constitution. Under the Bill of Rights of the Constitution, there is a component that are calls for Arab people have right to clean and healthy environment, just as the human right is. That's how environmental right is. And out of that right, the EPA was established to foster three main things. We want to ensure that that right of people is respected. So we do compliance and enforcement to ensure that the right of the citizens are protected under the law to have access to clean and healthy environment so that companies operating, individuals taking, doing undertaking, their undertaking should not affect the population, you know, and to preserve natural resources for now and future generations. Also, the law also, the constitution also provides that Liberians should be partaker of the management of their natural resources. Under that same constitutional right, the mandate is given to the EPA to ensure that if the people should be partaker of the management of their natural resources, how? Through our ESIA process, we do that. We do community engagement, community consultation for every project that is about to be undertaken in this country. So that's how we reach out to the people and get their consent on um, the future projects. Another component of the law is obviously to participate in international organizations. And the third but not the least is to inform the public about environment, environmental education and environmental awareness. As we speak, we have environmental units set up in all government institutions across Monrovia and the headquarters in Monrovia. We have environmental units set up in all government institutions and we coordinate environmental activities with them. As we speak, we have inspectors deployed in 10 counties and have oversight over all of the 15 counties. But again, because of low logistics, we can be everywhere. As we speak, we have environmental nature plots set up in commun vulnerable communities and schools across Liberia, not only Monserrat, in fulfillment of ensuring that people are well informed of the environment. And so the media, we think, is a very, or should be, or is a trusted partner with the EPA in disseminating that. Um, that's why we here at the EPA, we have a very small media team. Most, rec most recently, up to a few months ago, it was only one person that ran that place. We just added another person there to make it two. So you agree with me that those two persons cannot actually run the media activities of the EPA, but they depend on you. They, they, they print the electronic media to give the information out. So the media will remain a trusted party, partner with the EPA in disseminating environmental information to the public. And by this honor, um, I would say you just put a fire to our feet. And by me, you're telling us, you're watching us. And I can tell my colleagues in this room, the onus is on us because who much is given, who much is required or expected. So the honor is not a sign of 
putting us into the state of relaxation. It's a sign that well, we're washing you, you've done this, mean do more. So it means we have to work harder. If we're putting in only nine hours, we need to make it to 12 hours. If we're putting in 12, we need to make it to 14 to 16 hours. Some of you may not know, but some of us work for maybe 16 hours every day. That's the kind of time we put in. And graciously, I can say to the able staff here, we have very committed staff that are committed in pushing the government's proposed agenda. Evident by the fact that a few months ago, we were the first institution, the day the proposed agenda was launched in Ganta, the very next day we erected billboards, started erect billboards around the city in informing the public the alignment of the proposed agenda to environmental work. You know, and we'll continue to do that as long as we are given the opportunity to serve. So ladies and gentlemen of the press, um, the smart media groups, we are honored by your honor. We are humbled by your honor. And we can assure you that the honor bestowed upon us, we will do nothing less but to ensure that the the, the confidence reposed in us will not be um, let down and the honor will be lifted high in the execution of our duty. It will be a constant reminder. I'm not taking it home. I'm putting it in my office. Every day when I put my head down to work, when I live here, I see it, that it serves as a reminder that I have work to do. And, you know, and so will it be with my colleagues. You know, let them know that we have work to do. And the EPA is now on the spotlight and many more is required of us. So on behalf of the team, the entire management team and staff of the EPA, we say thank you and thank you for this honor. We're looking forward to working with the media in this 2019 to carry on massive environmental uh, education and awareness to the general public. As we speak, we are in the process of developing our state of the environment report. That report is a requirement by law. It should be done every five years. Unfortunately, this, the last one was done in 2006. It has never been updated. But as we speak, we in the process of doing the updating. When that report is completed and updated, we will be depending on the media to help us disseminate them. So again, you will remain a very trusted partner with the EPA as we inform the public on the state of Liberia's environment. Only working together and being cautious of where we are can we safeguard this place, this space that God has given us for now and future generations. I thank you. Okay, so we're going to put it together.